Tai Tigon Reality TV. And welcome, TTR TV. And today I am filming a vlog and filming a special event that is not going to occur again for another 18 years, and that is the Lunar Eclipse Super Moon. I'm standing right here with my three cameras, photograph, 4K, HD, and I'm waiting right over there in that horizon area, somewhere behind those mountains. I'm not precisely sure, but behind one of those mountains it's supposed to be the moonrise, where the moon is going to rise and it's going to be at its maximum size. Considering where those mountains are, I wish it was coming up the ocean, it would be even bigger, but it's coming up behind mountains instead. And it's going to be a... Uh, uh, a super moon. The moon is going to be the closest it's ever been within, I don't remember how many years, but maybe 18 years. And that's the closest the moon has ever been to the Earth and lunar eclipse, where the Earth's shadow is going to cast on the moon to make the moon look red. And what's special about it, too, is that it's occurring at 6.30, 6.35 in the evening. And that's the best time for me to be able to photograph and film it. I've seen the red moon when it came out I've seen the lunar eclipse when it came out during uh, the night, like at maybe 11 o'clock till, till uh, 2 in the morning or so. Late night, and I was always photographing it, and it was amazing. It was good because it was uh, at night time where I can focus only on the moon. But this time I'm going to get it where it's, on the, where it's coming up at the daytime. I'm a little bit excited right now. I'm trembling from excitement because this is going to be an amazing event that's not going to happen again for another 18 years, and it's going to be so cool, so awesome. Can't wait. It's going to be any minute now, and I'm going to catch, I guess you could say historical, maybe, well, I'd rather say it's more of a scientific event of something that's a natural occurrence that happens every 18 years. I'm so excited. Super moon plus red moon. Such a great combo. But yeah, it's coming soon. Very soon. So excited. So as you can see, the moon has risen and here we go. The red moon is starting to occur. The lunar eclipse is starting to occur. I saw it rise from behind the mountains, and it looked pretty big, but not as big as I was anticipating it was going to be. But the occurrence is crescent when yesterday it was full. That's reason because uh, the Earth's shadow is already it's already starting to um, it's already starting to become the red moon, and very soon the moon's going to disappear. I'm going to have the fabulous lunar eclipse where it's going to be bright red. So amazing! So so amazing! So, yeah, the occurrence. It's not going to happen again for another 18 years. But although it's not as impressive as I thought it was, but then again, we're in California. If we were in uh, Florida or New York or even uh, Europe, then you would see it at a more of an intense super moon and red moon. But right now, uh, it's not as intense because we're in California, unfortunately, but it's still, still an event for the moon to become red moon at this time of day, which is very impressive. So, very soon, it's going to become fully red. The crescent, it's slowly disappearing, it's getting thinner and thinner. So within about 20 more minutes, it's going to become a full red moon. Well, unfortunately, that was the lunar eclipse. But the bad thing about it is that uh, I shouldn't have been doing it here. I shouldn't have doing it. I shouldn't have been doing it by my house. I should have gone uh, towards Elisa Viejo, or I should have gone. Uh, I should have gone into the. Uh, by Whole Foods and by where the area is where there's uh, my trail where I've discovered uh, like scorpions. Yeah, the same area where I was hunting for scorpions. I should have went down in that area and that's where uh, is the best place to be because there is where there's uh, no clouds and no fog. But unfortunately all the fog and clouds are rolled in and uh, I can't get the shot. Well, to be honest, this was kind of a special event by seeing the moon rise kind of big, but it didn't rise as big as I was expecting it to be, and it wasn't what I was expecting it to be at all. In fact, what's even better is that, uh, is that if it's, uh, I mean, a regular, 
I mean, the moon, the size of the moon being a red moon, it's not much bigger than what it was at a normal size of it being a, uh, a lunar eclipse. So it being a super moon, it's not that much super. It's maybe about 10% bigger, and that's not much. 10 to 20% bigger. It's not much. So for there to be a total lunar eclipse again, that will occur in year 2018. So in about uh, two and a half more years from now. No big deal. Then I'll know and I'll be more prepared and I can be able to film it better. But this was an event that I thought was going to be more spectacular. Turned out to be not as spectacular. Still good, but not as good as I thought it was going to be. But oh well. Till the next vlog. Side 5, if you can see me. Well actually it turns out that uh, I didn't miss it. Those clouds were there and now they're not there anymore. Turns out the uh, clouds move away and I'm still seeing the lunar eclipse. Quite amazing. Still very exciting. So I'm going to go and uh, show you more clips very soon. I'll show you the video and uh, some photos of the best photos of the whole entire event. Still fortunate to see it. Those, that cloud, that fog roll temporarily blocked the moon, now it's gone. So yeah, so cool. So, back to what I was talking about, the lunar eclipse. It was pretty amazing. When the clouds finally cleared and they were gone, I managed to see the rest of the lunar eclipse. The clouds were blocking when it was right at the peak, but it seems like uh, the effect of the lunar eclipse seemed to be a little bit slower than the last times I've seen it. But um, this time seeing it, I managed to still see the moon being all red, and uh, it was quite an amazing event. It was spectacular. It was all that rusty red color, and it was beautiful. So I stayed and photographed and filmed all the way up until the point of uh, where the moon completely went back to normal again. And it was quite amazing. Very amazing. However, being in California, uh, for the location of the moon, for seeing the moon at the reddest point possible, it was at a decent point. It was pretty good. It was still red. But it would have been even better if uh, I was in the center of the Atlantic, or at least in uh, Brazil, Florida, and New York, or in Europe. And those are the locations that uh, you could see the moon at the most reddest point possible. But seeing it the way it was, it was still pretty good, still pretty clear, and it was nice. But to be honest, it was not It was a super moon, yes, when it was rising, but when it was up in the middle of the sky, it wasn't all that big. So I think they were saying probably in those countries that I mentioned, probably you would see it rising when it's already at a full moon state because however when it was because how it was rising when I first saw it today was is that uh, the moon was rising the moon rose the moon was rising right behind the mountains and it was a super moon but a super moon crescent uh, eclipse now I'm sure because at that state I'm sure uh, over in those countries that I mentioned they would have been moon rising already super moon. I saw the beginning stages of the super moon. There would be already super moon. And then of course later on seeing the ending part of the moon. So I guess what I'll try to do when there's another total lunar eclipse, I'm going to try to this time travel to those locations to be able to see it at the best point possible. Maybe. I'm not sure. But that's going to be within uh, about two years at least, two, about two years, which is supposed to happen again. Uh, a full total lunar eclipse is going to occur in uh, January 30th, 2018. Not the supermoon, just a lunar eclipse. But you know, the interesting thing about supermoon is that you actually can see the supermoon every time, only when the moon rises or sets but this time the moon was closer to the Earth, so the supermoon would be even bigger. But however, the moon is still going to look big when it, whenever it rises and sets. When you look at the sun, for example, the sun always looks a little bit bigger when it sets. Same effect on the moon. 
But for this experience and uh, the sightings of today, it was really nice and really enjoyable too. So, next, uh, I don't know, maybe some new event will occur and we'll see. So, till the next vlog. Side five.